Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. Waffle Bucket from the Collaborative LP channel, Banshee Bucket LPs, and I'm doing my first Let's Play, Portal. Yeah. So, um, this is going to be a somewhat basic Let's Play. I'm still trying to figure out all the recording and stuff like that. Um, some of the episodes might be a bit awkwardly timed, but I don't know. I just figured let's give it a shot and Portal is an awesome game. As you can see, that's what we're playing. I may have already mentioned that. But, um, yeah. Now, this is a pretty short game. Uh, it may only be around, like, 12 episodes once I finish it. But, whatever. It's still an awesome game. I know a lot of people like it, so let's get it started. What is this? We are in some kind of room. Yeah, that uh, was a bit more epic than I wanted it to sound, but whatever. Alright, as it's telling you now, um, these are my controls, and since I'm playing it on the PC version, you can change it, but as it's saying, W WSAD keys, to move, space to jump, and this is GLaDOS. She's going to be we hope your brief detention in the relaxation bar helping has us along the way. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, so I should just kind of explain or something. Um, we are in a testing facility. Uh, and as I was just showing you there, you can press E to pick up things. Press E again to drop them, or the left mouse button to throw them. And look, that's our main character. That's Chell, I think. Her name is, or something. You're not going to see her a lot because, you know, you're playing as her, but anyway. Alright, so we just go around here. Security cameras watching us everywhere. That's kind of creepy. And like I said, and as it's telling you, press E to pick up an object. Uh, so take this cube, put it on the button. Should be pretty easy. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. See, so yeah, as she said, uh, that's grid over there will destroy anything that we try to take into it and as soon as we pass it it will close any portals that we have shot but we can't shoot portals yet all right uh so we'll see you guys at the next test chamber all right here we are in test chamber number one all right Drop down here. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture. That's some lag there. That wasn't very fun. Alright, so what we have to do is wait for the blue portal to appear over there so we can. Um. As it just did right now. So we can pick that up, take it out here, and then put it back on the button. Put it back, put. on the. Button. Please move quickly, quickly Crap. to the chamber lock as effects a prolonged exposure. Okay, the recording is making it really laggy right fast. now. Uh, it should pass though. This game isn't. Oh crap. Oh no, wait, I was supposed to. Alright, this game isn't that demanding. Alright, these um, first few chambers are really short, but I think um, once we get into some longer ones, I may only do one or. or no, not one or two. Like three or four test chambers per episode. For this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do four. So, see you in test chamber two. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill. 
which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Alright, so if you look over here on the sign, this is in every test chamber. It tells you um, any of the hazards that you're going to be experiencing there. Uh, and <laughs> not to drink water. Alright, I never noticed that before. Alright, so in case you couldn't tell this time, we are actually going to get the portal gun. Which is currently sitting right there, uh, shooting portals. So what we're going to do is wait for it to friggin' move and shoot a portal through this window so that we can go into the orange portal here. Alright, now we just drop down and... Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science and Portal device. Oh, we now have you the portal guard. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of All the right, device. Alright, and she's just telling you, Do don't be stupid. You know, GLaDOS has to be one of the best characters in any game ever. Like, for reasons you'll see later. Alright, on to ch test chamber number... F three. Not four, three. Alright, I'm not too sure if this episode is getting long. I doubt it is. I'm guessing at this point it's at like... Six minutes. However, I think this is going to be the last test chamber for the episode. Um, partially because I also want to look at some settings while recording. Um, or, you know, for recording. Um, this, obviously, don't go in the gap. We have to get over there. Not too hard to figure out, but... And then... Again, pretty easy. The first few test chambers are pretty easy, and the game picks up a little bit in the middle, but at the end it gets quite difficult. Alright, so, this is the end of the episode already. Again, it's probably only like six minutes, but I don't know, I think that's fairly decent for a starting episode. So, next time on Portal, we are going to be doing the next three or four test chambers. And, well, that's really about it. Hopefully we'll be getting the orange portal soon, and we'll be able to do some really complex puzzles, but see you then.